Hi, everyone. We are with a man who needs no introduction, but we're going to do it anyway. Alan Cumming is here with us. Great to see you, Alan. Hello. Thanks so much for taking a few moments Thank with you. us. Star of a new CBS series, Instinct. Um, so welcome back to CBS, first of all, after a Thanks. great run on The Good Wife. Um, so, what's it, so what was it like to, to all of a sudden get that call and, and to read this character and say, you know what, this is the guy who I want to play and bring to network television? Well, it was sort of interesting because I was in Edinburgh working and I, I got a book, I got an early copy of the James Patterson sure. novel that's based on. So it was, it was kind of funny, like reading a book and thinking this could be my life. But I just, it was such a page turner. And also I've never played a character with so many different facets, almost yeah. too many, actually. A little eccentric, right? It's a little eccentric, yes. <laughs> to say bit. the least. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, he's kind of almost on the spectrum. Yeah. Uh, but just hanging on. And yeah, he's a, he's a, you first see him, he's a college professor. Yeah. And he has idiosyncratic teaching methods. And then you realize that he used to be a CIA operative. <laughs> he drives a motorbike. He has written this book that's become a bestseller about behave, um, abnormal behavior. Yeah. And a serial killer is using his book as leading clues about it. And that's when that person there, Bayana Novakovic, comes to, from the NYPD to ask him to help. So you're out, and then they actually want to bring you back in. He's lured in, back into the field. Lured back into the field. And that's got, there's some issues with that, because he's actually, he's married to this man, and the, he kind of left the CIA uh, for love. And yeah. so in a way, he's now going back into that. So it's, there's some issues. There's a lot going on. Yeah. And it's the first ever gay leading character in a network drama on American television. And you thought that was one of the reasons that really made this character alluring to you? Because it's not Absolutely. so much in your face that he's gay. It's kind of like <laughs> almost the fourth or fifth thing, but the yeah. first leading, as you mentioned, gay character on network yeah. television, which is a big breakthrough. It's a big deal. I mean, it's a kind of, you know, also galling that it's taken the amount of it's output long. that a network television it has in America. It is 2018, right? Yeah, hello. <laughs> so it's a great thing, but also a terrible thing. Yeah. And I, but I did definitely, you know, it, it's an exciting thing to embody that and yep. uh, you know and that's something that's really important to me but and yet also I think it's also the uh, idea that this relationship is a positive one and it's also and also he's gay it's not yeah. his sexuality as, as is often the case yeah is the most um, you know prominent thing in his storyline so yep. that's a positive step in, in many ways to everybody on Facebook right now obviously we're conducting this interview live if you've got a question for Alan please write in the comment section and we will ask him during this live interview Ooh. it's uh, very interesting very <laughs> very technical stuff here but uh, Okay, we do have a question uh, in already. I'm getting them fed in through my earpiece. What character, if you could, could you play, okay, that you haven't been offered yet in anything, whether it's on stage, in the movies? I'd like to play, the, I'd like to play Miss Jean Brodie in is The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie. Yeah. Why is that? Because it's such a great part. And, there's an, and I actually did a reading of uh, There's a version of it that I read and I, I played Miss Brody and, I, and it was just, it's so good because she's like this kind of, you know, it's one of these parts that I think we think we know what it's about. She's this kind of, you know, Scottish lady, but actually she's a fascist. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, interestingly, like this character has many different layers, but I just think it's really, um, I, lo I love the idea of looking at things that we think we know and then but you completely, really yeah, yeah, and completely revealing a different side of it. So we have another question in from Ken who wants to know, who was the, your favorite actress to work with throughout your career? <laughs> oh my God. Or actor. Oops, or actor. Uh, well, oh, there have been so many. Favorite. You know, <laughs> yeah, my favorite. Uh, Top five. Uh, well, you know, uh, gosh, I mean... I lo like in, in, in this in instinct, I love working with Bayana Novakovic. Yeah. She's just, you know, we become sort of fast friends and it's just really great to have, we're very different. Like the characters we play, we're very, yeah. very different. Um, but we've actually become this kind of brother-sister combo. Yeah. And that's, that's really lovely to make a, a really good friend. Um, I've also, you know, I loved, I did a movie, a couple of movies with Jessica Lang, yeah. who's just an amazing person and a stunning actor. But, you know, oh, there's been so many, so yeah. many. <laughs> um Brendan wants to know, what was it that uh, gave you the acting bug? When did you decide you wanted to get into acting? I think it was when I was at school, uh, high school, I did, uh, I mean, play, I did some plays. I was, yeah. You know, I think it was really because it was the first thing I was any good at. Because, I mean, the theatre is where you did cut your teeth. That's where you yeah. broke in. Yeah, you know, I went to drama school in Scotland and it was a very sort of theatre-oriented uh, three years. And, um, and I, you know, go back and forward <clears throat> to the stage all the time. But I think it really was, you know, I wasn't very good at many other things. Yeah. So when I suddenly 
people were kind of going a bit nuts that I was good at this. I thought, oh, I better stick to this. <laughs> you know, stick to what you're good it's at. It's nice to find that vocation, actually be good at it, receive the accolades, and yeah. be like, you know what, I think I can but make also, some I think money. I was smart. I knew that, you know, there was, my, my, my uh, options were limited. Yeah. So you've done, <laughs> but, but your options have not been limited to what you've done with your career. Not only, obviously, mm. a star of stage, screen, uh, both in movies and on television, you're a best selling author. You yes, book, I am. Yes. Which was fantastic. And now you've opened a bar. I am a bar, I am a bar owner. I'm a bartender. The natural, the natural progression. <laughs> yes, exactly. So what's that, what's that been like and how's that been received? And I, are there lines out the door to get in? It's, it's a busy bar. Yeah. I love it. It's, my, it's actually, I think about it as like one of my greatest artistic achievements yeah. because I sort of wanted it to be a certain way. It started off as like parties I would have in my dressing room yeah. after I did Cabaret on Broadway. And my, my dressing room became known as Club Coming and that's okay. the name of the bar. And so it was about that, that spirit of like all sorts of different people of all ages and genders and sexualities all coming together and there'd be performance and dancing and just yes. kindness. That's I put that out to the world and people came to the bar and sort of manifested it. So it's actually a really amazing thing. I was there last night and I love um, I love bartending as well because I've always just been an actor. I've never had to do yeah. another job. You know, I've never had a day job. And a lot of actors have day jobs of bartenders or waiters and things. And so now I, and it's hard to say. But they're not calling the shots. You're calling not, the shots, calling which shots. is nice. So if I'm a bad bartender, I can, I don't, no, nobody's going to fire me. So I, uh, I actually really love, like I, I go behind the bar sometimes and I, I see people like freaking out a bit. And I love going, can I get you a drink? And uh, I love, I love pressing little buttons on the machine and everything like that. I'm a heavy hat porter as I well. bet. No, that's good. <laughs> People don't get that at a lot of New York bars. And that's down in the East Village, correct? East Village, yes, on okay. 6th Street. So if you like to go out for a little libation, that's one of the spots you have to hit. Uh, were you surprised at the feedback that you got from The Good Wife? I'm just going to just pick that one out of just how, just, I guess, how positive a response that show got, especially with yes. your character as Eli Gold. I mean, I, I'd never, I didn't really ever have anything to compare it to, so yeah. uh, I, I'd never done a long-running thing like that. But yeah, Eli was such a nutty character and I think he's sort of you know people I, what I loved about it was that eventually people kind of knew were excited to see how he was going to react to something because they knew it would kind of you yeah. know piss him off so much of stuff pissed him off so I, I really liked that that I had a relationship with the audience and the way they kind of did the work for me and that actually because before he would come on screen the door would be like oh what's he like going to do yeah I never had that uh, before and I really enjoyed that actually so you just had a big anniversary last year for a movie. You and I first met. This was a year you won't remember this because this was back in the in the late '90s. But I used to work for a show, Entertainment Tonight, and I used to do some set visits for this movie oh. that you were in back in 1997 called Romy and Michelle's High School. Oh, did you? Yeah, how yeah. funny! <laughs> Surprise! How many years ago that was, huh? It's crazy. <laughs> and 20 years, and also like how popular that film is, and people go nuts. People have weekly parties another cult and watching favorite. another. Yeah, it's a cult favorite. And it's funny actually. A couple of years ago, I went to back to a friend's house and we were having a party and they put on Romeo and Michelle and everybody knew all the lines and they, I would come on and they would they would look at me and I wouldn't know, I would have no recollection of ever barely having been there. That yeah, barely, I've only seen it a couple of times in my life. But, so they were kind of annoyed with me actually that I didn't know my own film well enough. Yeah, so let me ask you about that instinct. One, one uh, more question on that. I mean, you've just shot a couple of episodes, obviously, and I know it's about to hit the air. How happy are you with the way things have gone? Um, is it everything you thought it would be when you first signed on that, from what you've seen so far? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, I really like it. I love how the kind of cookiness of the relationship between me and uh, Bayana, the, the 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 lead woman character, um, and I, it's, it sort of reminds me the sort of feel of it, the spirit of it reminds me of kind of cop shows I used to watch when I was a little boy, American cop shows I would get sure. in, in Scotland. You know, this kind of a slightly screwball, uh, and also a good mystery. You know, who doesn't love a good mystery and a good murder and before we say goodbye to alan here because he's got a very busy day any other questions out there that uh, that we have uh, in the booth that you want to relay to me right now how hard is it to mask your accent we're getting that question right now when you're doing television here in america <laughs> it's you know it's pretty easy i, I sort of you know once you learn how answer to answer this question in english please <laughs> no, pardon well i can't it... hear you what your accent's so thick <laughs> You know, it's just like another characteristic of the of the of the character. I sort of, and also you, you have to have a good ear, yeah, to be able to uh, hear, listen for different things. But so it's not too bad. Now I'm quite used to doing it in American. But so there's certain if I, you know, I played a Minnesotan farmer in a oh. movie. I had to get lessons and help with that. Kind of a little Fargo-ish. There was thing. a lot of that, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if I was that successful at it. But anyway, I, I, it's you know, it's people are more amazed 
unfairly, I think. It's not that big a deal to change your accent. Because, you know, Bayana in the show, she's Australian. Oh, wow. So the two of us are, sound nothing like... So when they yell cut, people must be like, who the heck? Yeah, <laughs> what, pretty, what is going on it's here? It's like the <laughs> UN when we stop. <laughs> and one last question. Um, you, what do you like to do in your downtime? When it's not tending bar, what uh, what are your interests when you're not when you're not? Working? You know, I just like hanging out at home. I, I've got two dogs and a husband, and we just... Like I, I've got a new house that I've just recently moved into Great. after years of renovation. So I just actually love being in my being at home and Great. chilling out. Awesome. All right. Alan, thank you so much. Thank Very you. Really appreciate it. Everybody out there, please watch Instinct. Mr. Alan Cumming, thank, thank you. you so much. Really great to see you. Cheers. And thank you for contributing on Facebook. Don't forget Instinct Sunday, 8 p.m. right here on CBS. Only CBS.